Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays with Vexmore Dragon Ball's Universe. So, today, guys, we're trying out the Man of Steel mod. This mod was actually created by Val E. Ryan, or Ryan. Um, probably once again butchered that name, but hey, props to you for making this, like, beautifully crafted mod. I just want you to take a look at how this one is compared to this one. Not saying that this one looks bad, but look how, like, detailed and darker. And the reason why I'm not calling it the, like, official Superman mod, and that's why it's kind of separate, is because this is the Man of Steel costume from the movie that was released back, like, two years ago in, or almost three years ago now, in, uh, 2013, that was called Man of Steel. A uh, really cool movie. I'd say it's one of the better Superman movies out there, but, um, this is, like, the OG, the original Superman that, you know, everybody grew up, like, watching from, like, the, I think it was, like, four or five movies, I don't know how many movies there were, uh, for this, like, exact costume and, I guess, the recreation of Superman in this kind of form. But this one right here is the more current, darker kind of version uh, in the fact of it being a little bit more serious, I guess. But, yeah, this is a crazy-looking mod over Super 17. I feel like that was a great pick to put this mod on, like, just this kind of style because, you know, he's got the same sort of eyes, his build quality and how tall he is, you know, like compared to this one, the, that one, this one he's like kind of small. <laughs> he's a little bit smaller, but uh, great job on this one. Uh, it looks practically like immaculate. Like it, there, I don't see, I can't see any issues with it. It looks great. looks exactly like the movie. Uh, his hair is a little bit different. I'd say his hair was mo more like combed back kind of, but, uh, you know, he kind of looks almost like Zod, General Zod a little bit more. But before we get started, guys, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Sure to reach 15 likes on this video. That'd be amazing. I really appreciate it. Plus, it shows you want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe content on this channel, as well as a continuation of the mod series. We have entered 2016, so Happy New Year's to anybody that, I guess, didn't see my previous video um, on New Year's Eve. So, yeah, just Happy New Year's to you guys, because I think it was yesterday. Today is, like, what, the second? Yeah, it's already the second. That's crazy. So, already two days in and two, the new year. So, I'm going to stop talking. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, you know, of course, I got to go against, you know, just Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, because it's just it's just right. Because I already did cover the uh, that other Superman mod, and we'll just go out in the fucking planet and shit. Man, he's really tall. Look at how great that looks. Like, everything about it is so clean. It's very polished. Um, he does have a voice for it. Somebody did get a voice for him, but, uh, you know, just the installation of the voices and all that stuff. It's a little bit more complicated, and I was just like, you know, I just want to kind of do the mod for now. And maybe in the future, um, I think there's actually the Batman vs. Superman movie. If you guys don't already know, I'm a huge, like, DC. Not, like, a huge fan. Like, I don't read the comics or anything, but I love the movies of any superhero movie, like Marvel and DC and all that shit. I love those movies a lot, and I've watched pretty much all of the like main i guess the mainstream ones that most people would watch because you know they're entertaining they're really cool to watch and um you know i thought man of steel and the dark knight those were both just great movies and um i saw batman begins dark knight dark knight rises so basically the full-on trilogy for that one but uh for man of steel there's only been one movie in this series and then we're going to be getting the batman versus superman which is a little bit different it doesn't have the original you know Dark Knight uh, actor who was, God, what was it, Christian Bale, I think, that's who it was that uh, played him in the original, like, trilogy, but we have, I think it's, fuck, what is his name, I always forget his name, he, he played Daredevil, I can't remember, I'll, I'll probably remember it after I'm done recording this fucking video, or I'll have to look it up, um, damn, man, it, it's gonna kill me if I, I, I can't remember his name, what the hell, but yeah, he's, he's, this new guy, is going to be playing uh, Batman. I mean, he's he's a well-known actor. Oh, I want to say Adam for some reason. Why do I want to fucking say Adam? What the hell's wrong with me? But yeah, I can't... I, I'm always forgetting his name. And yeah, he played Daredevil in the original one for Marvel, which was kind of uh, kind of garbage. But here, I'm going to go ahead and not... Fuck, dude. I'm going to die from this shit. Let's go and use Shocking Death Ball. Whoa! Man, this is a little bit too dark for freaking Superman. Shit, dude. All right, let's see what else he's got. He's got Flash Bomber. That looks stupid. What the hell? <laughs> Hyper Drain. What is Thunder Eraser? Okay, that's pretty cool looking. Drain Field. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, he's killing me. Okay, this freaking controller, man. I was trying to use my PS4 controller, but it started glitching out today, and I was just like, screw it. I'm not going to use that one because... 
Like, really, I can't get a good controller that doesn't have some issues. That's the problem with playing. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, what was that? I mean, Superman is really going in today. Look at this man. Combing the hair back, even though it's not combed back. What is that, dude? <laughs> He's like, what? Well, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, uh, so far, yeah, man, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Uh, let's try and do... This is actually what I was thinking. I didn't plan doing this, but I think it would be cool to see the two... Uh, what the fuck? Why is Trunk... <laughs> I just noticed Trunk still has Tapion's head. That's when I was trying to install the mod, and he, he just has his head straight up. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, let's go. Uh, Man of Steel versus the original Superman. Let's see how that plays out. And for this one... Uh, I guess we'll go into space again because, I mean, that's just, like, one of the best stages for it. Look at that. Look at the difference. Like, that one is so simplistic looking, but I like it. It's a clean, simple look. This one is, like, much more complicated and just has a lot of extraneous detail. I'm not saying that it's, like, not necessary, but, I mean, damn. Like, you, this guy went so far in with the detail on this. Looks great. Um, definitely has that darker tone to it. You know, the Man of Steel kind of tone. You know, with those movies, you got to put those nice, clean like overlays like instagram overlays or whatever the fuck it is i mean that's what i feel like all these movies like the newer movies they're trying to get a little too serious that's why it's like with marvel movies they're much more light-hearted not as serious and that's what brings like awesome like joy into those movies like it's great that's what i love about marvel and then with these i mean even though the dc movies they are more serious and darker and i i would say that they're not as good um they they at least do a good job at trying to do it you know what i mean like they they do have it does have like all those movies have great potential i mean with dark knight that that's perfect they did a perfect job with that obviously you you kind of have to because batman's pretty dark dude like you got it you got to but for man of steel he's he's a very silly character like he, it's hard to make him like this alien race very dark that's like it's like if you try to make a dragon ball z movie you know you can't be making it like <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution, which was... We all know that was fucking horrible, but... I mean, it is possible to pull off a decent Dragon Ball Z movie. I wouldn't say it's impossible, and that none of them will ever be good. I mean, they're never gonna be at the standard of, like, these Marvel movies and shit, but... I mean, you gotta get a fan, somebody who knows the series very well, and incorporates jokes and certain things into it that would be... Like really good for it, but that's like that's just the problem with anime movies in general. Like it's just very hard to pull off stuff. They should just stick to the anime. But a movie for those series, I think it'd be pretty cool to see like a really well done movie. Like the uh, trailer that they had for the Saiyan Saga, made by I think K8K Productions. Uh, they did a great job with that. I mean, obviously, it was more of on the end of like a lower kind of budget. It wasn't like straight up these movie standards that we see today. But, you know, for a fan made thing, holy shit, I just got destroyed by the original Superman. But yeah, for a fan made thing, I think they did a really, really good job for it. And, uh, you know, I'd say if they kept it up and they kept working on it and, you know, honing their skills with editing and all that they'd probably pull it off and make something really good and i think they're working on like a new series and stuff but all these fan-made series that they're making like light of hope and all that stuff i love seeing that because it's the fans that are making it and they obviously have a better understanding of the series and i i would say they need to keep at it because they're doing a great job especially light of hope i'm loving that shit so far it's great so um yeah so far i'd say yep yeah, great mod excellent shit you know good stuff to this man uh this one was also a really good one that i covered whenever i was trying to do uh superman versus super saiyan god super saiyan goku but this one was just a little thing to throw in there just to show off how like complicated and complex you know you can make these mods like this looks identical the costume is on point this guy did a fantastic job i love how he put it over super 17 so kudos to you dude i'll definitely put all his um links and everything in the description i think it's only just that his one page on xenoversemods.com uh but if he does have a channel i'll definitely put it in there but for now, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys had a great 2015, and now we're entering this new year, so get hyped for more content. I'm going to be trying to put out uh, as many videos as I can before I go back to school, which is in like two weeks or whatever. But yeah, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.